Welcome Scorpio. Thank you for joining me. Tune in. in. If you're new, welcome. Please be sure to click subscribe. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, July 2021. Past, present, future. Advice, influences, obstacles, and outcome. Beautiful. You're bringing sun energy into July with you from June. That's a happy energy. I mean, look at that. Look at that baby. He is happy. He's on his beautiful horse. So... I think that that's wonderful energy to be bringing in. We have um, Mercury, Saturn, and Jupiter lined up in astrology. So um, this is about birth. So with regrowth, you have to recycle out of the old. So I think this is wonderful energy to be bringing in with you into July. Present. The Eight of Pentacles or the Eight of Coins for the present, present energy. So you uh, may be a little cocky about all this sort of good luck you've been having. Um, a little sort of unfocused, as it were, presently. You know, just been enjoying, enjoying the finer things and allowing yourself to be distracted. Ooh, nobody likes the hair front. Well, I'm sure somebody likes him, but, um, anyways, um, so you're, you've, you've been distracted, maybe just allowing yourself time to take vacation, go out and soak up the sun and that's going to change. You're going to have to refocus, put your energy back into the details of things in July. Hey, Jack, Jack, I didn't know you were in here. Oh, it's Mudgers. Mudgers and Bowie. All right, so your advice. Uh, the High Priestess. Nice. So you've been distracted by, um, it feels like, almost like you've been in this vacation mindset and it's going to be, there's going to be a, a flop here, just a, like a switch coming up where you are going to have to go more into a business mindset or, you know, um, I don't want to use the word logical, but I'm hearing it's, it's like you haven't had to, I don't know. You've just kind of been rolling along, you know, having fun doing what you're doing, but pretty soon now you're going to have to take off your swim trunks and put on your business pants sort of thinking. But with the high priestess here, it feels as though, you know, she has the yin and the yang, much like the chariot. We have the black and the white. She's going to come in and she's going to tell, bring you balance. So she's telling you, well, she's telling you, she, mm, blah, 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 words are hard. She's telling you to find the balance between work and play, that it doesn't have to be one or the other, um, that you deserve to have both. 
you know so july is about finding your balance between work and play it feels like between hanging out with your with your with your friends and um you know punching the time clock as it were she is telling you to listen to your gut instincts to listen to and pay attention to the signs that are around you and you know when spirit speaks to us they are those messages are uh they're not always you know loud and clear so I do feel as though that you can't achieve balance between work and play, between what makes you happy and what you have to do. And, I, you know, lots of things can make you happy. Um, but that's what it is in July is finding the work and play. So your influence is the Ten of Swords, which is good to see a Ten here because this is kind of feels like you're setting yourself up for the next six months, you know what you do this month, how you learn to achieve balance is going to be very important. Ah, oh, that feels nice. Got a pillow for my back. Found my balance of sitting in this uncomfortable office chair, but still being comfortable. So the 10 of swords in the reverse position here, your influences, which it feels like, I don't know, it just feels like you're on your game, you know, because you guys do sort of the Scorpios sort of just have the ability to accept things and move on. And, and that's what the 10 of swords is in reverse is about, is about accepting things and moving on. So you guys are, you guys are there. Obstacles. So you're, we have the queen of cups in the reverse position. So whether it's the queen, whether you're the queen or the king, or choose not to identify as either, this is still the higher, the highest card here at the end of the suit. So, and, uh, so the only thing that could get in your way this month is you. The Hierophant energy is very strict and confining. And finding that balance there by listening to your intuition here. I, I just, I feel like it's achievable if you don't get in your own way. I'm literally seeing somebody tripping over their own feet. So you can trip yourself up here by... Um, allowing your emotions to control you. So that is a possibility. That's an obstacle here. But if you go back to the advice, you go back to the high priestess and remember that she is extremely knowledgeable. She is the high priestess. So using that knowledge, allowing knowledge to outweigh emotion is going to help you achieve the setting that energy balance for yourself for the rest of the year is what it feels like. Outcome. Judgment. I, you know, I know this seems like a scary card. I'm trying to lay it here so you can see it. You know, people come rising from the grave for judgment day. But again, I feel as though that this judgment card is telling you that you are the master of your own domain. And... The high priestess is about mystery and judgment is it's more about the truth finding the truth So 
So again, this is about balance between mystery and fact, work and play. Not lingering too much on things that you don't have control of. New growth. Which is what this period is right now. You're setting that tone. I really feel like Scorpio right now you're setting the tone for the remainder of your year. Strength and the third chakra, solar plexus. So everything to achieve this balance is within you. To set, you know, we, we see you starting over here. We have the last card, or well, judgment is the end of the major arcana coming up here and then with new growth we have this beginning energy and it really feels like you're setting your tone for the next six months again third chakra here we're talking about the high priestess listening to your gut instinct. This feels like. Oh, the cat just moved under me. Hello, Bowie. Um, thank you. He moved again. It. It really, God, it just, it feels like you are setting things up for bigger and better things here. Like something is coming, something's coming, something's coming. But this is, this is the long game. Like it's not going to be at the end of the month. But it feels like this month, July is important for you to work towards whatever that end goal is. You're really setting the energy. So I feel like you need to be, um, it feels like you need to be really, aware with how you are setting up your energy you need to be really aware of your mindset all the time now of course the universe can come along I'm literally being shown the tower card so the universe could come along and and stir it up as it were but it feels like You have so much control over where you're heading right now. The universe is only going to come in and stick, stick her nose in if you're heading down the wrong path. Strength. The willpower to find a balance, to find balance. That's what I keep hearing. It's all about setting boundaries so that you have the balance. It's what f July feels like for you. Interesting. Well, if you'd like to recommend uh, to your fellow Scorpions how to find balance between work and play, please comment that below. Again, I appreciate, guy, appreciate you guys watching very much. 